and welcome. All right, so this is full body band workout. We've got all the bands lined up here for today. So whatever you have, loop band, handle band, Pilates band, you don't need everything. If you have at least something that looks like this, it would be great, or something that looks like this. Okay? Uh, the loop bands will be helpful. We will be doing quite a few lower body things today, so that would be an extra for you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with a warm up. Just pick up a band. This one or the one with the handle, just to hold it at the at the middle right here, just about a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna raise it up and then bring it down. Warming up those shoulders and arms. All right, now hold right here on the center. You're gonna turn to one side and pivot. Other side and pivot. One more. Now raise the band and squat. One more. Step out to the sides. I'm going to do a band pull apart right here. Alternating side lunges. You can leave the band pretty loose. This is just a warm up, so we don't want the band to be tight. Let's do one more side. All right, let's open up the hip. Lunge back, raise your arm up, bring it to the center, and then turn towards the leg that's on the front. All right, so just go ahead and leave the bend out to the side. Place your hands on the thighs. Breathe in, drop the belly till bone goes up. And then breathe out, draw the navel to the spine, chin towards your chest. Breathe in. And out. One more. Now go ahead and stop in neutral position here. Bring the shoulder to the opposite knee. And switch. Switch. And one more. Roll it up. All right, so now our next, our first one, not next, first. It can be any band that you want for this one. I'm getting this one because it's a loop, but you can make a loop with all the other ones. We're gonna step on it. This is a stagger that lift. We'll come down and squeeze it up. Now I'd like for you to hold here the same side. I'm gonna do my opposite hand just because I have a little bit of a a ninja on my right shoulder. It's not really actually ninja, just tight. Um, so I'm kind of babying this today, all right? So right foot forward, holding with the right hand. Get ready. Get set and go. So your left foot is just tapping back. Keep those hips square as you come down. Squeeze your booty on the way up. One more. All right, now you're going to give a, a bigger step back, okay? So you're gonna give a bigger step back. You're going to, this time, you're going to do a uh, split squat, which is a lunge. You're gonna row, and then you come back up. All right, so now here is, you might wanna do the same side, I'm doing the opposite one. Ready, set, and go. Ooh. 
Last one. All right, in time. Now we're gonna switch that up. You're gonna have your band on your left foot. Stagger that lift. Ready? Starting four, three, two, one. Bend down the hip. This is a deadlift. The next one is like a lunge. It's called a static lunge or split squat. Now, one of the things that might happen is we might start to turn your shoulder. I just got myself doing that. So you want to keep your shoulders and hips square on this one. One more. All right, I'll go ahead and give a wider step back. All right, so it is a split squat in a row. So I'm not using this side because that's busy today. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. And row. Ten seconds. All right, in time. Okay. So if you do have this band, you can put it right here. If you don't have that band, you can tie another band. Just make sure there's nothing hanging on the on the floor. All right. Make sure there's nothing. Because you don't want to step on something and then lose your balance. This band down here is a little, uh, doesn't work quite right. You can try. If that doesn't work, you can move it up here, okay? All right. We're gonna give a side step, side squat. Ready? Set. All right, and go. Now you wanna keep the legs wide the whole time because if you get too close, the band will lose its stretch and fall, right? So you wanna keep that tension going a little bit. One more each side. All right, so you can hold on somewhere, hold on to the wall or chair, whatever you got next to you. Our next one, we're gonna lift for 20 seconds and we're gonna pulse for 20. It works just as well with the other bands that I just showed, okay? All right, ready, set, and go, lift. Toes slightly turn in. Don't lean too much towards that standing leg. Try to keep your body upright. All right, ready to pulse? Go. Keep that knee, the standing knees a little soft. And time, all right. Before we switch sides, we are going to do the side step squat again. And then we'll do the left, okay? We're gonna start in 10 seconds here.
four, three, two, one, and go. Here we go. All right, now get ready for that left side or whatever opposite side if you had before. So 20 seconds, raise 20 seconds, pulse. Four, three, two, one, and go. Lift it up. Are right, you gonna pose? Ready? Pose. Three, two, one. Time. All right, you can go ahead and take this little band off. We will go back to it in a little bit. All right, so now get the long bands, one with the handle or the one without the handles. We are going to step on it, one foot or both, depending on how tough your band is. We're going to cross, we're going to hinge forward, we're going to row, and we're going to curl. All right, so it's like one row, one curl. If you want less resistance, have one foot, it's gonna squeeze your foot in a little bit. It's kind of a little weird, but I'm gonna do that today just because I'm trying to get light. Uh, yeah, this band is not too tough, so I'll do that. Ready? So first is just the row, okay? When I tell you when to switch to the curl, it's not one and the other. All right, ready, set, and go, row. Now you want to bring the elbow nice so that you can squeeze it in. I'm just trying to show you how to do the movement. I'm not, I have no resistance on my band basically just because I'm giving myself a break here today. All right, in time. Now we're going to come up to a standing position. The band still should be crossed. If you're on less resistance, uncross it. And we're going to just curl. Okay, ready, set, and go. Elbows glued to the side. I have to say, like, yesterday my shoulder was hurting a lot, right? When I told you I was going to the chiropractor today, I left there feeling amazing, really. I just don't want to win it, doing, putting more stuff into it. It works, it works. Nothing works as <laughs> that fast. So I'm a big advocate for chiropractors. Find a good one, whatever you live. All right, one more. All right. All right, we're gonna do this again. So I'm gonna have my other foot. If you only had one foot, make sure you switch. All right, so you're hinging at the hip. Squeeze the shoulder blades in three, two, one, and go.
Right, we have one more. All right, keep it crossed from our resistance or uncross. We're gonna go back to the curls. All right, here you go. Ready, set, and go. All right, and time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you if you don't have that little loop band, I'm gonna show you what to do for the next one. We are doing like a leg extension. All right, so you're going to wrap it, you're going to step it, okay? And you're gonna hold somewhere, you're gonna do a knee extension right here. If that is too much for you, you can always give less resistance, right? Just step further out towards the end of your band. And that can be done the same thing with this other one. You just want to put through the loop. Don't put this on your ankle instead. Put it on your foot like this. All right? Because that way it won't be like this is not smooth like that. So this will hurt your, your body. This one here. One in the ankle, the other one underneath the foot, okay? So you would extend it. All right, so here we go, let's get ready. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Doesn't matter which leg you're doing, we're doing both, okay? So whatever leg you're doing is just fine. I want you to focus on really uh, concentrating here on your quads, even if you do a little bit lower. If it's hard, whatever, your hips are tight, it's hard to keep it up. Just focus on the contraction of your quads for this one. Doesn't mean your leg has to be all the way up. One more. All right, still same positions here, same leg. All we're going to do now is kick back. So whatever you have set up, you don't have to go anywhere and move anywhere. You're just going to go kick back instead. Starting five, four, three, two, one, and go. It doesn't have to be super high either. Just place your hand on your booty. Make sure you're not forcing the lower back. It doesn't have to go high. All right, in time. Now let's switch it up. It's so hot in here, my band is sticking together. We have a hit advisory here. All right, ready, set, and go. Actually, I can stay on the face this way.
All right, in time, rest here a little bit, then we're gonna kick back. Ready, set, and go. Make sure you're just working on the booty here. One more. All right, you can go ahead and remove that band. All right, pick up one of your long bands, either one. Bring that underneath your armpit. And we're going to do chest presses right here. All right, so elbows, 90. Press it on the front, okay? Now we're gonna do this as we do a forward lunge. Ready, set, and go. Alternating. One more. All right, you're gonna bring the band to the front. All right, we're gonna do a side lunge and we're gonna open one side. Side lunge, open the other side, okay? So you wanna give resistance here so that you can open and stretch. I'm not giving myself that much resistance. All right, but make sure you do. Ready, set, and go. You gotta make sure this band is tight on the front. Right now, as you can see, mine isn't because I don't wanna give myself any resistance, okay? Come on, stretch the band out to the side. Keep going, keep moving the arms. Last one. All right, in time. We're going back to the alternating forward lunges and a chest press. Ready, set, go. Elbows are 90, and then press it on the front. One more. All right, in time. Woo. All right, get ready for that front side lunge. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Ready, set, and go. Push, come on. Five seconds, 
four, three, two, one. Woo, and tie. All right, we're gonna give ourselves a little break here, drink some water. I got thirsty. I had a Mediterranean lunch today, but it was like at three o'clock. <laughs> so, hummus, tabbouleh salad, and kibbe. I love it. Well, you don't eat meat, but yes, at least maybe you can make that out of tofu or something. Uh, all right, so we are back to the first, to the other one, okay? And I will show you. We, it's not the same exercise, a different one. This time we're going to cross in the front, cross in the front, then we're gonna pulse. Then we have leg curls, all right? So those are the two. So get yourself set up. Now, if you don't have this band, you're gonna wrap just like we did before. Okay, wrap it around it. And then step at the end of the band. See, I, I, I prefer the thick band, but this one here can be helpful for things like what we're doing right now. All right, ready? Starting five, four, three, two, one, and cross. If you wanna lift, you wanna add a little bit more, you can lift it out sideways. This adds a little bit to it. All right, now we're gonna pulse, here we go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And time, all right, same leg. Now we're going to do a leg curl right here on the back. Starting five, four, three, two, one, and go. So it's so hot in here that the weatherman said, if you play video game Mario, I think, I don't know which Mario, but he fights the sun. The sun is trying to kill Mario on the level three. He said, today is that day. <laughs> that the sun is trying to kill us all because it's really hot and the rays are really like damaging. Ah, so it's so hot. One more. All right, now switch it up. That's the other thing about this band too, it gets, starts to get sticky. Okay, ready? Set and go, cross, lift. And time. All right, we're going to switch back to leg curl. So knees together. Ready, set, and go. It's like you want to kick your own booty with your heel. Oh, 
One more. And time. All right, so that band will still work, but I'll get this one uh, or the, any other long band you have. We're going to be doing a triceps extension right here. So hold it opposite shoulder, extend it down, elbow in, as we do a curtsy. So we're gonna come down, curtsy, tap, curtsy, tap. Okay, and then we'll switch sides. So I'm holding with my hands, right? I'm bringing my elbows in and bringing the palm of the hand towards my opposite shoulder, the same shoulder that I'm working, okay? All right, ready? Starting five, four, three, two, one, and go. Press it back. Press it back like down, and the palm of the hand is facing back. All right, here we go. Whenever you're ready. If you can't do the curts, otherwise just do the arms. One more. All right, we're gonna be set here. We're gonna switch sides. Now go ahead and hold with your other hand. Ready, set, and go. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was kind of lunging. Alternating my lunge. All right, in time. All right, whatever band you like, the long one. Gonna stand on it, gonna squat. I'm going to do a front raise. So, see if I do a front raise when I squat, might be a little bit better because it's, it's less resistance. Let me see if this other band is a little bit less for me. All right. So you can squat while you stand. You're going to get more resistance if you squat when you if you raise when you're squatting is less, right? All right, ready, set, and go. That's what I'm choosing. I'm gonna, that's motivating me to do a real low squat, so I don't do it. Ten seconds. Woof, all right, in time. All right, so we're going to pick up the band, and if you have both, I'll get this one just because it's flat. So if you have this band, place it on your hip, like not on the belly, on the hip. All right. And we're gonna pay the palm of the hand is facing back. You're gonna pulse it back. All right, if you have the other band because it's a little bit like um, hard to put it on your body, you can go like this. Two. All right, here we go. Get ready. Set and go. Squeeze the back of your arms. Uh, 
All right, in time. All right, now stepping on the band, a wide curl. One foot, both feet. We got wide. Bring it, elbows to, close to the body. To the side, ready? Set and go. I'm going to sink into a little bit here just because I, I want less resistance. All right, if you have just one foot on it, make sure you switch because we're kind of halfway. All right, in time. Still holding on to the same bend. All right, so we're gonna do one pull down, one pull down, one arm um, bend pull down. So it's like a one pull down to the front, one pull apart, up. Pull down, front, pull apart. If you wanna add a little bit, it's a lot of coordination, right? But you can just step up. <laughs> yes, good luck with that coordination, okay? It's up to you. Ready? Set and go. Here you go. One pull down, one pull apart. One pull down. Nice. Oh my goodness. This is somebody super coordinated over there. Ah, oh, I love it. You took the challenge. Oh, I'm going to have to do it or it's going to be really cool. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is very confusing. I'll stay right here. <laughs> All right, in time. Woo. Ah, those arms. All right. So for next one, we're going to be doing sidewalk with a squat. So now you can have this band or the booty band above your knee, uh, whichever one. This is called the monster walk. You step on it, you cross it, you bring it to your waist or over your shoulder if you need a little bit more. And we do sidewalk right here, okay? Yeah, we'll do four on one side, four the, to the other side. Let's get ready. Then start in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Here we go. One, two, Three and four. Go back. One, two, three, four. This is one of those things you start really stepping out wide, and then by the end, you give you those tiny little side steps. And this is what's happening now. Uh, all right, in time. Oh, shake those legs. All right, so whatever band you have, uh, you're going to make it nice and wide like this. Now you want to step out. Start with it wide, okay? Now you can bring it in right here. You can cross it on the front. Whatever going to work for you. Uh, if you can cross, that's, that's great. I'm going to squat and come on up. All right, so see whatever works. I'm going to keep mine that this ready, set, and go.
One more. All right, and time. All right, so we are coming to the floor. We're going to stay there. So bring your bands with you. We'll start by sitting on the mat. We're going to do a rowing, a narrow row. So bring the band to underneath your feet. Uh, mainly if you have the other one, be really careful not to roll it and snap at you. So you want to put in the little groovy part of the grooves of your shoes. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to row. Bring those elbows in. Ready? Set. And go. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Even without any bend in weight, you should still be feeling it. Make it smaller if you need a little bit more resistance. Ugh. This is painful. I just pretend I have the band in my hand. You want to make sure that band is tight, okay? All right, and time. Now lay down your back, bring the elbows onto the mat. We're going to curl right here, okay? Give as much resistance as you need. Ready, set, go. seconds four three two one and time all right we're gonna come up to a seated position gonna do this one more time get ready all right ready set and go row elbows in Keep going. One more. All right, lay down your back. I right, get ready for the curls. Ready, set, go. Make sure the elbows are resting on the mat. All right, and time. All right, now we're going to lay down on our backs. Get your legs nice and wide right here. Just hold the ends of the band up, whichever band you have. We're gonna bring it out and we're gonna pulse. Get ready. Starting five, four, three, two, 
squat and go. Keep that resistance going. Let's post it out. You're welcome to use the same band and wrap it around. Uh, we're going to do bridges. Or get your booty band. Our uh, first one is just bridging it up. Okay? Up and down, up and down. And then our second one is going to be up and then knees apart. Ready, set, and go. Just going up and down. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Alright, go down and rest. We're only gonna rest for 10 seconds here, then we're gonna go up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. Ready, set, go. Up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. And make sure that you're not resting your glutes on the way down, okay? Just keep it floating the whole time. Ah, oh, this booty band is so intense. 10 seconds. And time. All right, go ahead and remove the booty band. All right, abs time. Let's go ahead and hold your band. And again, uh, I'll say you don't really have to have the band on your hand for these. Kind of helps to stretch a little bit. We're going to come to a sit up, raise it up, and lay down. Ready? Set and go. Try to peel your back off the mat. One more. All right, we're doing just 30 seconds for this one. Our next one is gonna be a Russian twist. Ready, set, and go. All right, in time, just put the, the band to the side and hug behind your knee. Bring your forehead down to your knee. All right, we're going to do a couple of exercises now for core and uh, without to continue. But you don't have to use the bed. For We're going to do bicycle crunches. Going to be our first one. They're going to be a reverse crunch with a leg drop. Ready? 
Starting five, four, three, two, one, go. Just 30 seconds each. Four, three, two, one. All right, rest here a little bit. Bring your hands underneath your hips. Now we're going to do a reverse crunch with the leg drop. Ready, set, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Bring your knee to the chest. All right, let's prepare for the mermaid. That this is the last. We're going to do 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds the other side. And then we're going to do a nice stretch using the band. Get ready. So the mermaid, you're sideways. Your body looks like a banana, like a banana shape. You can bring your knees in. It can be just one leg up or both knees extended. All right, ready, set, and go. It's only 20 seconds. So you balance yourself on one butt cheek. And you're bringing your body up on a diagonal without swinging the legs, just really using the core. One more. Ah, all right, switch sides. Ready, set, go. Ten seconds. This is it. We're going to stretch. One more. Last one. Ah, time. I right, lay down your back. Bring on your chest. To make some nice little circles here. Opposite direction. I just was the first thing that popped. <laughs> Legs to one side, arms out. Ah. Nobody have any ideas of happy hour when the jazz starts to play. <laughs> I right, switch sides. It is fitness happy hour. Get one more made and buy one more made and get two. Oh. All right, back to the center. Go ahead and back your band. And let's bring that on the ball of your foot. Raise your arm up. Bring your knee towards the chest. Now hold both ends and allow the legs to drop out to one side for an inner thigh stretch. And now cross the leg over to the other side. Romantic comedy, this is, reminds me of like a uh, rainy afternoon in New York, umbrellas, coffee shop, meeting your soulmate. All right, back to the center. Switch, switch sides. All right, hamstring stretch.
All right, now hold both ends, allow the leg to drop out to one side. You can extend the opposite knee if that works for your body. And cross your leg over. And go back. Now we're gonna turn into all fours. We're gonna thread the needle here. We're gonna inhale, keep your right hand down. Inhale, feet, left fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle. Now you can keep your hand here or you can extend your arm up. And let's press and switch it up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread the needle. And press through the palm of your hand. Now, puppy pose, just bring your hands to the top corners of your mat, forehead down. And walk with your hands and tuck your toes, lift your tailbone for a downward dog. Just press one heel down at a time. It's gonna do twice each side. Walk towards your hand, and let's roll it up nice and slow. All right, here we go, quadriceps stretch. All right, switch sides. And let's finish it up with three deep breaths. Here we go, breathe in. And breathe out. Two more in. And out and last one. All right, great job. Thanks so much for joining me here. Don't forget to check out the auto workouts and I'll see you next time.